Back in the saddle again. Do 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 do. All right. Welcome back. This is still just a test. <laughs> Uh, I've got a meeting here in just about 15 minutes, and so I was doing something quick. Uh, I changed the camera setup a little bit, uh, mainly because I'd like to be able to take this uh, Canon Vixia, which is one of my uh, two kind of high-def uh, cameras. This one's a few years old, but I really like it, and um, I have lots of extended batteries, and um, I have this wide wide uh, lens on it and I haven't really put it through its paces yet um, for this so we are doing a couple things at this exact moment one is I am recording at a higher resolution on the desk cam I guess uh, I did a short where I talked about these headphones um, they're nothing special in fact that's the way I like it I love cheap good stuff um and the you know just by you shifting the way that you buy right so these are headphones that a headset um that you would normally have purchased for like a school which means it's generally uh durable and repairable um and so uh, you know it's maintainable which is not the same thing that you find in a lot of headsets these days anywho I wanted to say thank you to um, one of my viewers here for giving me a perfect idea for the opener of season two because I have a lot of ideas and um, spoiler we're gonna start tying in more ham radio um, private networks packet radio digital data long distance i've even got um, one of the things i'm my my goal is to be able to link my two properties um, which are about 16 miles apart uh, we've got drones carrying antennas um, i've got some cables and parts on order and things like that uh, to be able to use some of my 20 odd handheld radios to create a a, a mesh network so We've got a lot of different things. And, and so what Alan suggested uh, is that I do like a five minute introduction to each one of the concepts. T did I also say private cellular network or, or more specifically open source cellular uh, GSM in the ham band? Um, I found a write up that I did a while back and uh, I really wanted to pick that back up. Anyway, sorry, so he said, hey, what you should do is a five-minute introduction to each one of these kind of concepts and then basically get viewer feedback on how to proceed. I mean, most of these things I'm going to be doing myself either way, but the sequence in which I do them or, you know, what I'm doing um, when I have um, more time versus in between and downtime, uh, you know, you all can help me prioritize. Uh, we haven't forgotten about the Tinkerboard. What you may have not realized is besides the fact that I stumbled upon the tinkle, the, the, the teacup Tinkerboard via that webcam is very ser super serendipitous. Uh, but the truth of the matter is that I just was uh, riding the wave of interest and couldn't believe how much traction, interest, etc. we had. And it was a fun rabbit hole to go down particularly as I was experimenting in this and, um, I'll be honest, uh, a little bit more financially strapped and, uh, had, um, some time on my hands, that sort of thing. We're, we're kind of coming out of that, um, valley, if you will. Uh, and, and, and I'm very excited to, to get rolling on some of my longer term plans for this channel and life in general. rolling back to the main topic. So that's what we're going to do. Um, uh, I am going to try and publish a little bit more often. 
I'm going to try and increase the quality. I am always going to be genuine. I can't promise that they're going to be scripted. Uh, but, oh, yes. And uh, the, the, the Tinkerboard platform, I know I can use a Raspberry Pi and there's a lot of other platforms, but it fits this, you know, <laughs> the specifications of the, of the teacup were, were very specifically uh, designed or I had in mind with the intent of not only consumer electronics, but ham radio and other kind of infrastructure free or independent communication network, uh, kind of platform needed a, uh, a machine. I needed a computer that was somewhat accessible and, um, you know, had a lot of good IO, uh, functionality, et cetera, that we could use as a platform, um, a core part of a platform to put into devices. And so that's where that fits in. For example, it's, um, you know, it's, it's lineage <laughs> of the, of the T31 chip is in cameras. So guess what? Um, you know, being able to do television, being able to do um, long range IP scanning, maybe even some FPV um, drone fixed uh, wing and otherwise um, uh, uh, activities. So there's just a lot of things that you can do with that tinkerboard at a low cost um, that's performant. Um, and so that will be going into a lot of these different kind of projects. Uh, and yes. So with that, I've got to drop and get ready for this meeting. Uh, thanks for stopping by. This has just uh, been that little kind of channel update. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep rolling and have some fun. So let me know. Now, uh, feel free to uh, leave something in the comments to let me know um, uh, what you might be thinking of. <laughs> We've just got a lot of... A lot of ideas and, and I've got to at least sequence them. All right. Have a wonderful day and happy hacking.